Recently, there's been a lot of drama between Psyonix and Freestylers, which a lot of people are confused because it doesn't make much sense since Psyonix has hosted a bunch of freestyle events in the past. They've done like 50k freestyle events on the Rocket League channel. They've done it with like Ford, other car sponsors. I don't really know. They, I know they do it with Ford, but they've done plenty of freestyle events. A lot of people are confused. They're wondering, why is this even happening? Well, what is even happening in the first place? On October 5th, six days ago from when I'm even recording this, uh, a few freestylers actually got banned. Ram and Nitro Fades uh, got banned for 720 hours, which I believe is just around a month, around a month for uh, unsportsmanlike conduct. And there was a lot of confusion within the community of why they were being banned in the first place. And obviously, you know, they got memed on quite a bit uh, about smurfing. And then eventually, you know, it was all kind of figured out why this whole thing was happening. And so a few days goes by after the ban and people realized, uh, oh, it's because they're smurfing because they're lowering their MMR, their casual MMR to be able to play against silver players. Uh, in, in some instances, instances, not all, by the way, to be able to freestyle, to be able to hit shots because they know if they play against higher level players, the shots are just going to get saved. And so eventually, uh, Devin Connors comes out, who is the community manager for Psyonix, and he ends up typing basically this whole essay on the code of conduct in Rocket League. So this post comes out a few days after a, a few of the freestylers were banned, and Nitro and Ram were not the only freestylers who were banned from what I've been told. Not 100% sure, but from what I've been told, that's, uh, that's, you know, they're not the only ones banned. They say, you know, they're really supportive of the freestyle community. They love making the, uh, or having like the creativeness of the freestylers and, and all their shots and stuff like this. But they realize that, you know, they cannot disrupt the Rock League experience for new or casual players in Rock League, intentionally deranking any account or starting a Smurf account with a lower rank in order to match make against new or lower skill players in any online players goes against the TOS. And, uh, he goes on to say that, uh, the ban goes against freestylers this week after they came to after an investigation where multiple accounts did this in casual playlists. These accounts were artificially keeping their casual MMR low equivalent to a silver one player in competitive. Silver one, which is like 500 MMR. Via forfeiting matches and sometimes own goaling. In comparison, these accounts normally play competitive matches at a grand champion level. Their competitive playlist is grand champ and their casual playlist is around silver one. This is this is, these, are, these are the extreme examples that got banned. Some of the analyzed matches also show that the accounts in question intentionally kept opponents in overtime for up to five minutes of additional play. And that's uh, that's basically the gist of that whole thing. Um, the big thing here is Sonic's concern is that they don't want casual players or newer players to be put up against Grand Champ 1 level players. Yeah, you're freestyling and you're trying to hit cool shots. That makes sense. But doing it against a Silver who is brand new to the game is going to be very hard for them to comprehend, one, what is happening, and two, why they should even keep playing the game if they're not getting the chance to touch the ball. And that, that's one thing that I think some of the freestylers here, and I'll, I'll go into some of the other stuff that, you know, every, a bunch of people have been saying, but that's one thing I feel like the freestylers aren't understanding, is when you look at it from the POV of somebody who's brand new to the game, who is silver, and the ball is just floating and quad flip resetting above their head, and they don't know what's happening, and they, don't, they can't even touch the ball. What are they supposed to do? They're just going to leave the game. And obviously there was a lot of conversation when the bans happened, when the community post happened from Devin, and there was somebody specifically, his name is Faith on Twitter, been in the freestyling community for, you know, I, I'd assume a long time. He, he talked a lot about this current situation and he made a twit longer about it as well. This is a whole twit longer. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Uh, however, showing off that mechanical prowess cannot disrupt the Rock League experience for new or casual players in Rock League. Faith now says, yes, I agree. Intentionally deranking should be against the terms of service, but I have a few counterpoints. It's casual. I feel like casual is slowly turning into a ranked experience with them caring more and more about rank. This all started when the forfeit option was added into casual. Before this, if people didn't like the lobby they were in, they could leave with no ban. But now it seems like players are either forced to play the game with a higher level opponent or take the ban. Honestly, I am kind of with you. I don't think that casual should have a forfeit option, but the reality is it does. And so those players are stuck in the lobby uh, and they can't really, they can't really do anything. They're not just going to like, you, you know, they're not just going to remove the forfeit button. I think what the, the, what that does, and I'm going to be honest, like I, I, it definitely like wasn't me, but I'm a part of the reason why they also added a forfeit button because when I needed a replay, I would just go to casual, record my car for one second into the game, save the replay and leave. And a bunch of people did that. A bunch of people just abandoned the games and you can't actually play a game of Rocket League for what it was meant to be in casual. So that's why they added the forfeit. People constantly leaving casual games. The amount of times people join a casual game for 30 seconds and left was probably insurmountable 
So they just made it so, hey, you have to at least play a minute and a half, you know, if you're going to commit to this thing or, you know, you're going to take the matchmaking ban. And then there's also this point from his uh, Twit Longer as well, where he quotes, again, he quotes the Reddit post. He says, we encourage the freestyling community to show off their mechanics against similarly, similarly skilled opponents, as well as playing private matches with their friends and fellow freestylers. And he goes on to say, the thing is, sometimes the freestylers are simply not possible against similarly skilled opponents. Okay, this is what I, I don't understand. And a lot of people don't understand this as well. This part right here, I get it. Because if you play against anybody that's above a silver, they're going to save the shot. But my point is, right, if you're freestyling and you're hitting shots on a silver and everybody knows you're hitting a shot on a silver who can't defend, what is the difference between doing that and doing it in a private match? That's what I don't understand from the freestylers here. What What is the difference? It's not like people are going to see the shot like less cool because you hit it in a private match because it was set up in a private match. It's not like the silver could have saved it anyway. It's the same exact situation. The only concern I legitimately see here from freestylers with that is that it's much easier to just get two or three people and then queue casual compared to getting four or six people and doing it in a private match, right? But you could also just get three people in a private match and 2v1 the person in net and they don't save it because it's the same thing, right? It's gonna look the same. Like I mentioned earlier, I think deranking to 500 MMR, whatever, deranking to silver one when you're a grand champion competitive is a little extreme, even if you are freestyling. I think that's overboard, right? Like I said, I just mentioned private matches, probably the way to do it. But speaking of a silver, Kronovi made a pretty funny tweet about this whole thing. And I think it kind of gets the point across, right? It's a, it's kind of a meme, but he has a good, he has a really good point. POV, you're, you're a gold against freestylers. Like... They're just waiting for it to come down. And it just never does. Like, I, oh, I'd love to hit the ball. There's people that don't know how to aerial and casual. And so, like, like oh, when, when will it be my turn? You know? Oh, surely I'll get the ball soon. And so, like, he's he's memeing. He's joking, right? But it's, it's, it's serious. Like, it's a real thing. Like, that's what he's... It has some truth to it. If you're a silver player, you have no idea what is happening. You don't, you don't know how to save the ball, how to contest it. You don't even know why this dude is quadruple flipper he's setting on your forehead. You haven't even figured out freestyling yet. And so uh, a lot of the, a lot of the, the stuff with, when the memes came out, right? A lot of the freestylers kind of, they took it maybe, maybe seriously, or they took it the wrong way. And like, they, they started getting memed more because of this whole thing. So like Nitro, one of the players who got banned and maybe it was like out of anger or something, he just said, I forgot you existed to be honest. But like, this isn't the way to go about these things. Like you want people to support you with this. So if you just start shit talking people, it's not gonna help you out. And then this guy said, MF what? M Mother fricker what? And he linked, <laughs> he, look, I'm sorry. He just, he linked a freestyle video from 2012. <laughs> like, what does that mean? I don't understand. He linked Kronovi's freestyle video from 2012. Kronovi was just making a joke about gold players not being able to hit a freestyle. And then he linked this from SARP. The, not even not even Rocket League. He linked an old game. So like, what the... And then he ended up clarifying. My point was that you inspired a lot of people to start freestyling as you were one of the first to do it, which is awesome. And then you made that tweet shitting on freestyling, which I, I don't think he was shitting on freestyling. I think he was just making a joke. Uh, was your tweet serious or were you sarcastic? Because I couldn't tell. Okay, looks pretty sarcastic to me, but whatever. My main point about that, you know, that whole thing of the freestyle is going at people making jokes about it is you want these people to support you. You want them to help you, right? Going at them is not the way to do it. I, I know a lot of them immediately were like, oh, they're banning freestyling. Freestyling is done, but that's not the case at all. They just don't want you to tank 700,000 MMR to be able to play in a silver one lobby. And then there was more. A little bit more happened today. And this is where I'm legitimately confused from Sonics. And I think, I think the idea is to send a message to kind of get the point across, you know? And this one's kind of hard to read. I think it was translated, but this says Rocket League freestyle community is the most active community you have on your game. And you're literally destroying our playstyle. We're so much to do what we did today. That one is the, the messy sentence. Uh, make other players dream with our way of playing to have others inspired by our mechanical level. level. Thanks for this shit. And I think this is people's MMR getting boosted. They upped a bunch of the freestylers casual MMR because they were tanking it so hard. So now a lot of the freestylers casual MMR matches the competitive MMR. And then Faith, and who I mentioned before, he tweets out, I'm done. Rocket League just sent my MMR to 1600. I haven't broken the TOS since Devin made the statement about freestyling. Again, the, the private match. Why not just go into a private match? Am I crazy to think about, like, please explain to me why a private match is, is like, such a, a, a bad thing. 
right? I feel like ruining the experience for a silver player is much worse than just going into a private match or like having to go into a private match and getting one extra person, you know, to make it a 2v1 and then having to hit the shots. Anyway, that's about it of Freestylers versus Sionics. If there's anything more that gets added, maybe I'll make a video, maybe not, probably not. I don't know. Uh, but the whole thing seems pretty odd to me. I, I, you know, a 30 day ban does seem extreme, but I feel like tanking your MMR well, by 1000 is a bit extreme as well. So it's, you know, whatever at the same time it, yeah it is pretty excessive i feel like maybe three day ban week ban to get the point across make the community message maybe that would have been better i don't know maybe they were warned before and you know they didn't change anything so i don't know probably not but freestylers you want people on your side so don't you know just start <laughs> talking shit to people you know you want you want them to help you and yeah i don't know why they're giving people mmr now either so that's uh confusing anyway the whole thing is confusing uh, but it's entertaining to say the least. All right. <laughs> Goodbye.